G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I'm going to make you a nice slow cooked lamb dinner. I get a lot of requests for lambs and dinners, so I'm going to combine the both into the one. So, let's get started. Right, well here's all the ingredients you'll need. I'll leave them all with the amounts down there in the show more bar. Now this is actually a slow cooked lamb shank recipe, but I'm using four quarter chops just for something different. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some flour, put it on a plate, add some salt and a whole heap of pepper. And I'm just going to coat this lamb in this, shake the excess. And now I've got a saucepan here, which I'm going to add some olive oil into. Oh God. And into that, I'm going to chuck my lamb pieces. And we're just going to cook this lamb for a few minutes. Ah, yeah. Now if you've got a lamb shake, you've just got to keep turning it over. Uh, with the four quarter chops, I'll just spin them over a couple of times. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to cut the onion up. Boof. Okay, so now when that lamb's nice and brown, I'm just going to put this on a plate. And I'm going to throw in my onion and garlic, a couple of cloves worth. And we'll just cook that until the onions are softened. Okay, it's red wine time, so now I'm just gonna add about two thirds of a cup of that in there. And we just want that to boil off. Now to that, I'm gonna add my stock cube, some rosemary, and of course, some butter. Yes, put that in there. Oh, yum. And when that butter's melted, I'm gonna add my tomato sauce paste stuff. I'll mix that through. Now once that's sort of simmering away, I'm going to add my lamb back in here. And now what I'm going to do is reduce the heat to really low, like at the lowest level, which is called a simmer. And I'm going to put the lid on there. And I'm just going to let that cook on its own for one to one and a half hours. Boof. Well, that's the meat and the sauce covered. And I'm going to serve this up with my favorite food, mashed potatoes. So I'll just get some of those on the boil. Filling station! Stove! Salt in the water! And lid on. Now you should all know how to make mashed potatoes, but if you don't, I'll leave the link for that right here. Alrighty, well my timer's just gone off, so let's... Just... Jesus! Oh. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, that looks absolutely amazing. Look at that fat just sitting on top there i.e. flavour, but you know what, might as well go the full one and a half hours, I reckon. So back on with the lid, there you go, there you go, lid. And I'm going another half an hour, and while I'm at it, oh, yeah. oh god. Let's just check on these potatoes. Well, I'll tell you what, they are as soft as my heart. So I'm just going to turn those off, and let those sit there for a while, until these are ready. Alrighty, well the time has just gone off again, and I tell you what, look at that oil on top, it looks delicious. So I just put the lid back on, I'm going to turn that off, and I'm just going to let that rest for a bit, and I'm just going to mash these potatoes up. Butter, and mash. So, some mashed potato, and some of this delicious lamb, which is falling off the bone. And let's not forget some of this amazing looking sauce on top as well. But before I tuck on in, I'll add some pepper and some salt because I know how much you guys like to whinge when I don't add it. Okay, well, there's some of that slow cooked lamb I just whipped up on a bed of potatoes. How good does that look? But taste is also very important. So let's give it the old taste test. See how it goes. Mmm. Oh. Well, that's just melting in my mouth. That is absolutely delicious. Oh. Mm. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy yours as much as I enjoy mine. Thanks for watching. Remember to give it some thumbs, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen, where the slow lamb